So one of the reasons why someone would buy you So Rob asked, I had a few people asking to acquire my company in the last year. What should an agency owner be doing to maximize the value of their business? What things were considered the biggest value items when you were acquired so I can continue to grow my business smartly and make sure I maximize my company's value should I decide to sell? Big fan, Jason, thanks. Awesome, Rob. So it really comes down to three things. But before we chat about the three things that can increase your valuation, let's talk about why. So one of the reasons why someone would buy you would be first, they want to get more of the piece of the pie. So let's say they only have 60% of the piece of the pie for most of their clients for the particular services. And they don't want to have any other agencies get in there because we all know that when we get into account and we know other agencies are in there, we're trying to really mess with them. We say we're going to play well in the sandbox, but we're really trying to bury them in the sandbox, right? The other one is, is they want to grow faster by buying rather than organic. Think about how long it took you to get to this point where your processes and your reputation are built up. Well, they want to acquire that. So you're saving them time, which is a really big factor. And then the other part is geographic region. So let's say they're starting to want to get more into the European, European, European market, then they're going to want to buy you and have a physical location there. Or maybe they want on the West Coast or somewhere else. So you got to look at all those factors. Obviously, there's a thousand other factors, but those are the most common. So the first reason why someone would buy is intellectual property. So a lot of times it comes down to your assets. Your assets are your employees. Your assets are your contracts. One of the things you want to make sure with your contracts are that they have a long term. A lot of agencies I work with, when they start, first start working with me, they have month to month contracts or they have an easy way out. And when a buyer looks at that, they go, well, we could buy them and then they could leave. So our projections of what would be added to our revenue are at risk. So you want to make sure you can get the longest term contract possible. You know, and I'm going to freak you out a little bit. The longest term contract, it was an agency that came up to me at a conference and they said, we sell seven year contracts. Incredible. But you want to really look at the intellectual property. This could be on software. This could be on processes. Mainly it's contracts and your employees. The other thing that comes into factor is your profit. Okay. So, so many agencies think that their top line revenue, all we have to do is make it over the 10 million mark and we're golden. That's not true. You have to be profitable. If you're not profitable, that doesn't mean anything. One way to do this is to avoid scope creep or to make sure you're not underbilling or over servicing. The other thing too is, is hopefully you are paying yourself. A lot of agencies kind of take out what they're paying themselves and put that in the profit and say, well, we're hugely profitable. Another profit margin that you should be shooting for, because that's probably your other question, is over 34%. If you look at the Service Bureau for service-based businesses in the U.S., it's over 34%. I'm not making this stat up. And so you want to have a healthy profit margin. And then the last part, it's about growth year over year. So a lot of times a buyer is going to look at the past three years track record and make sure you're going up. If you're stagnant, or if you're going down, those are going to be red flags and your valuation is going to be affected by it. Now, I want to talk you through this little valuation formula that I put together. Now, this is just for a baseline. At the end of the day, it's all about what you're willing to sell it for and what someone's willing to buy it for. You can see there's profit margin and revenue growth. If you look at it on a really good you know, valuation, you're going to be at 30% you know, margin or above. And let's say your growth rate from the past three years is over 40%. That means you're going to be at 11x multiple, which is meaning whatever your profit is times that by 11 and that's the valuation. Now that's not saying that's the amount of cash you're going to get. That's just saying your valuation because there's a lot of different factors that go into selling. If you like what we chatted about, make sure you comment below. I use that as fuel for why I do this vlog and why I do this show in order to help you out. And if you know of anybody that can benefit from this, please share it with them so you help them out. You also help me out as well. And if you're not yet subscribed, make sure you subscribe.